What's uh Worm King Triple Six here? What's happening there? Um, this video, um, I'm gonna show you uh, upgrades I did on my Squire Stratocaster guitar. So let's just get right into it. It's right here on my lap. Okay, we'll start up here with the the headstock part. As you can tell, I put extra decals on it. This guitar is actually a Squire Stratocaster, but I put uh, some Fender Strat Stratocaster decals on it. Confuse everybody, because that's what I like to do. Confuse people. I replaced the string tree as well. This is the string tree. I had a chrome one, and it just had like, it was just chrome. It didn't have rollers. All right, let's get this thing to focus today. Come on, focus. Anyways, this thing has rollers on it right there it's pretty cool okay let's move down right there I can't I, I can't tell if you can tell but that there that's a brass nut that's called a nut it's usually made out of bone or some synthetic type of plastic but I put a brass one on here it's better for more sustain and tone on your strings because you go like from metal to metal instead of metal to bone or plastic or whatever so it gives it much more of a buzz on the string so these pickups will pick it up and it just it's just like louder okay let's look at the pick guard plate here see these screws I replaced them all they were all uh, silver or chrome and now they're black, so kind of gives it that stealthy look. Okay, I got me a black whammy bar instead of the chrome one that it came with. I replaced all the knobs. These are more um, machined. Uh, they had the old school uh, volume and two-tone knobs here where it was uh, the, you could see the print, the numbers, and it's a volume and tone right there. I changed the tip, selectors, the selector switch tip. This was black, now it's uh, chrome. And uh, put a whole bunch of vinyl stickers on it. I had the Worm King 666 made. And of course, I got these off eBay. Right here, the input jack plate. Here, this was chrome. So I put in a black one. And I think that is all the upgrades I did to it and oh I do have one more upgrade that I am going to put I'm replacing this bridge pickup with one of these bad boys it's in the, in the bag it's called a lace sensor lace sensor pickup I don't I can't tell this one is the red lace sensor pickup They'll have different colored um, letters. They, this one's red. They got a silver. They got a blue. And they have like, they sell a combo of these for the Strat. Usually the red goes here, silver right there, and blue right there. But you could use them in any ways, but this red is pretty hot. So I don't know how would, this would sound like in the uh, middle or uh, neck position. Um, I don't know. I might try that. I might just load these all up with reds. Don't know. Because this is pretty hot. Or I might just keep this red and keep the two stock pickups here. These pickups sound okay. But the way this pickup is built is totally different than this. And the magnetic field that picks up the vibration of the string here. This, like... Let me see if I can explain. Okay. There we go. So with this kind of pickup and these poles, magnetic field it goes around like that, so to speak. So it'll pick up that vibration and just imagine an invisible type field, magnetic field. It'll pick it up like that. Okay, with this lace sensor pickup, how does it pick it up? It picks it like, oh man, 
not straight up just up but it's a big thick field it just goes up like that and what that allows is you still get the thick rich loud tone but it cuts out the hum the 60 cycle hum you know the noise that you would uh, plug your guitar in and you hear that in the background well these pickups as hot as these are they cut that noise out so whether you are palming the strings or not to get rid of that that uh, hum uh, you don't need to with delay sensors they the, the way these are wrapped in magnets is just a total different uh, uh, way than these are wrapped up these pickups anyways that's enough guitar tech there um, those who don't know I used to build my own guitars um, basically I did not build them from scratch I didn't cut out the wood or anything I would just buy uh, raw, you know, Stratocaster bodies and random necks I, I'd get on eBay or whatever. And then I would just kind of fancy up a pick guard, you know, put different pickup configurations on it. Um, and just wire it all up together and hope for the best. And I've made about maybe four or five guitars in my lifetime. So I'm getting back into that and all the music and, and doing all that good stuff um i'm hoping this drummer works out and then we could start uh playing some local gigs i, I don't care i'll play i'll play fucking i'll play a park coffee shop I don't, i'll play the fucking post office i don't care i don't care anymore i'm too old to fucking care man i only have so much time i'm gonna have fun fuck bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't mean to cuss so much. Don't, don't mistake my passion for profanity. Yeah, alright. So, that's about all for this uh, video of my upgraded Squire Stratocaster. Um, tune in to the next videos. Uh, they will be of my uh, two new guitar projects I'm, I'm going to build. It'll be on my YouTube channel, so tune on in. I'll let you know when uh, new videos are up. And like and subscribe if you want. I would appreciate it, man. Never thought I'd reach up to... I have 117 subscribers. Now, that may not be much to anybody. But once I start caring about my YouTube channel, I'm like, wow, 117 people hit me up. That's cool, because I, I don't try. No, I, just, I put that YouTube channel up for myself, but then I see a lot of people YouTubing, and I figured I'm going to use it as my video diary for my family to see and my friends, and um, if it turns into something great, if it don't, great. I don't really care. Um, yeah, I do it for fun. So, all right, and as you notice, my video my youtube channel was and still is consists of bicycle content but now it will also consist of my guitar endeavors and musical endeavors and uh yeah we'll see how far that goes all right i've done enough babbling the edibles are kicking in this is worm king and i'm out Peace.